Hello everyone, welcome back to Golden Final Spin. This episode, I'm just going to do a little opinion. This is my opinions, and only my opinions. Everyone has a different take on this, okay? Vinyl versus CDs, analog versus digital. This is a subject for dawn of the ages. It's searched all the time through YouTube. You can, you can tell that it's something that people are interested in and it's well searched because you see the numbers on other YouTubers' videos, thousands of views. So obviously there's a need for this video and I'm hoping that my opinion uh, on the subject uh, influences you in some way of looking at uh, buying records or CDs in a different light. Let's just put it this way, okay? I'll be quite frank. It really does not matter about the science behind the record or the science behind digital formats and CDs. Your ears, these here are your science, okay? They're gonna tell you whether you like what you hear or not. Now everyone's ears and the way they hear things are differently. Some people can't hear certain frequencies. If you go for a hearing check, they test and you listen for these beeps at different frequencies. Some people can't hear them. Some people have amazing hearing. So everyone, every human being on the face of the planet has a different way of hearing things. So that people can go on all they want and say, well, digital format is this, digital format is that, analog is this, analog is that, and go on about frequencies and stuff like that. Really, in my opinion, it's a bunch of BS. You go by your ears. Whatever your ears are telling you, if you like what you hear, then that's what you like. Now, I've been telling myself for years that final is better, final sounds better. Now, the thing is, if you tell yourself something enough times, you're going to believe it yourself. Now, that put me into a back corner as a record collector. Why? Because there's a lot of CDs out there that are not on record. So that's a bonus for the CD, the digital world, okay? Even though I want everything on vinyl, I don't have that option, and neither do you. Sometimes you have to buy for the music. So I tricked my brain all these years of thinking that analog is better that my ears think that final is better. I haven't really given CDs or digital world a chance, really. Personally, I am just faithful to the final world because I can interact with it. I can own something that I can hold and not lose, unlike digital downloaded formats. I feel that I have something for my money. And I also love the artwork that are on a lot of record jackets. Over the years, I have learned how records work, hence why I build my own turntables now, so I have an understanding of what is going on with a needle touching the record. I understand everything about it, which I don't with CDs. Plus, I feel that I am more than just a customer when I'm buying a record. I feel that I'm a part of something, something bigger than just being a customer. It feels like I am a part of a community. I'm a part of a club. I'm a part of a something more. I feel by collecting and playing records, it offers a more human interaction and connection with each other than any other customer provided sources, whether it's CD, downloading music, even cassettes. Cassettes, it's a little borderline there. Over time, I have noticed that record collectors connect more with each other when they're buying records together. Even sometimes when people are buying records, it may not be for their self. And there's this connection there. For example, my post office lady has gotten used to seeing records being dropped off to me, but they're in a record mailer. And over time, she started, you know, curiosity. She'd ask me, what was in the boxes because they're all the same and once i finally told her she was like wow you guys still do mail order records and then we started talking there was a connection there now every time i go to pick up a box that looks like a record she's always asking me what record do you have coming in today mark 
and usually that leads into other conversations about the artist or experience that she had and and this goes on all the time across the world and it's not even just uh, people that collect records there's a connection there to even people that don't collect records once they realize that you collect records they remember the time when original pressings came out where they were when they used to collect their father or grandparents playing them and then it reminds them I think my dad still has his turntable maybe I'll dust it off and play it now I have never heard any of these kind of conversations or statements when people were buying CDs or receiving CDs in the mail there's no connection there people don't know that you're receiving CDs you can walk into a box store and buy a CD right at the counter and walk out and it does not create a conversation whatsoever and of course downloading music that's even less of a human connection with each other. I have downloaded music many times, especially when they put those download codes inside of our, our records that we buy. And I would put them on my phone and you know what happens? Usually I forget that they're on the phone or I forget what file they're in. And up to, I think it was twice now that I upgraded my phone and I forgot to file transfer things over to the other phone. So I end up losing all of my digital downloaded music. That brings me to my conclusion. Your ears are going to tell you the answer when it comes to digital or analog. It's good to understand the science, but don't use it to tell you what you like. Maybe you don't like connecting with the world and maybe you like just downloading your music. Maybe you like just having a CD and shutting down the world around you and having no interconnection with anyone. That is completely up to you. I have a few CDs and I like playing them in my truck, but I don't go crazy over looking for CDs. So that's my outtake on analog versus digital. It really doesn't matter. It's what your ears are going to tell you. But I enjoy collecting vinyl and I've grown custom to it. That doesn't mean that I'll never collect CDs. I just don't have that connection right now with them really many other CD collectors. I see them at record shows going through the CDs, but I don't go over and say, hey, well, what CD are you picking out? Uh, I have no interest in CDs. I connect with the music by playing it through vinyl, and I connect with the people that collect vinyl, those that are around me, even those that don't even collect vinyl. So that's where my opinion on digital versus analog is important to me and why I collect records. So let me know in the comments, why do you collect records versus CDs? Does it matter about the science behind it? Can you really hear it? Because I don't think you can. But who knows? Everyone's ears are different. So thank you for watching Golden Final Spin. Until next time, remember, keep spinning.